Happy Sunday, friends. It's time to show up. And I wanted to show you, I gotta figure out where to put this phone at. I wanted to show you my 32 degrees Under Armour that I'm wearing. And I'm trying to figure out what shirt to wear because I also need to check the weather. Hold on. Okay, so I got on the 32 degrees Under Armour. And I'm just going to put a tank top over it because it says that it's 50. It says it's 50, but remember, it's, I was going to say it's December. It's November 28th, I think. So this should be good. What I'm going to do is, see, I just got this tank top on over to 32 degrees with regular leggings. Um, I'm going to put the vest on just to do my warm-up walk. And then put, leave the vest in the car. And I'm hoping that this will be good. Stay tuned. All right. Happy Sunday. Checking in with a 10-minute gratitude uh, med walking meditation. I didn't really care for it. <laughs> she says something about let the animals crawl on you and give you peace or something. Mm -mm. She lost me at that part. Um, so I have to do another one. <laughs> But uh, meditation is very awesome. You just have to find the instructor that you like and the kind that you like. And every now and then you come across one that is like, mm, not for me, sis. So just, you know, keep trying. Uh, my meditation is over. Deep breath in. Took the vest off already out here and getting ready for my live 45 minute run with Oh, Lord, what's the girl name? I can't even think of her name right now, but uh, Peloton. All right, stay tuned. Bye. All right, checking in with a successful, I don't know, 2.5, 3 miles, something like that. Um, just get up, get out, do your best. And you can't accept nothing else. As long as you're out here doing your best. So I am checking in, loving the 32 degrees. And I think that... Well, I have another heavier one too. I plan to probably wear that one during the um, January 5K because I'm sure it's gonna be 20 something degrees at that point. But I have a strategy. I'm gonna wear my heavyweight fleece, 32 degrees. And I have to figure out if I need a short sleeve shirt or a long sleeve shirt and a vest. Always have some gloves and I believe they're giving us a hat for race day so that should be good um but knowing me that's probably going to be too much so that's why i have to get out here when it's colder and start practicing but i'm not home so i just kind of go with the flow right now but also i think that i need to get back on the bike because you know what that opened my legs up tremendously after the 10k when i couldn't walk <laughs> um and i haven't been back on it since because i haven't been home so that's my plan for moving forward. December is knocking on the door and we gotta finish strong. And the only way to finish strong is to have a plan that is measurable and easy to um, get going. So for me, um, I'm gonna start back journaling. I have been journaled in like five months and in my mind, I do best when I journal because it clears my thoughts. And sometimes I think that I'm clearing my thoughts as I'm walking and running, but it ain't enough. So between the walking, running, exercise of some sort and journaling helps keep the mind clear because you know we make up stories. So at least if it's written down, you could really look at how many stories you're making up <laughs> um and then what, did, what else did i say i'm gonna try um 50 to 60 ounces of water a day and i'm aiming there because i think that the biggest struggle is my well in a way i feel like my work days is the biggest struggle but not necessarily because at least i'm confined to an area where <laughs> I ain't got nothing else to do but drink water. But then sometimes, see everybody's out on the street. Run, friend, run. Um, 
you know, we just gotta do what we can. Um, I plan to meal prep, no more cafeteria food because that's how it was successful in 2020. Time to go back to the basics and let's get this done. So today was more of a walking than running, but it's fine because I'm moving. So meal prep, track my food, drink more water, around 50 to 60 ounces a day, um, incorporate strength training, because I think that that will be most important. And um, I would say I would like to lose a pound a week, but it's reasonable, but then sometimes it's not. So as long as I'm losing, I need to lose, because I notice um, the more I gain, the harder it becomes to run. And it has nothing to do with like your breathing. So that's how you know, like your legs are just a little more tired than usual. Probably because they're like, we didn't sign up <laughs> to do all this at this weight. So stay tuned. I will be weighing every Sunday and if the spirit hit, I'll share it with y'all. Uh, if it don't, <laughs> i just tell you about it. But remember, run if you can. Walk if you need to. But know that you can crawl if you have to. See you guys next time. Bye.